as you if you are here you already know that database is not um, the only thing the AWS has right it's pretty much a lot of uh, resources and energies also put on how community responds to certain projects and and we have example from the campaigns about it and um, today I'm going to talk about a new um, functions um, within the early warning system database and as Nadine said um, if you are um, website user or you received project snapshot currently you won't be able to see this this is within inside a system um, only user who who has admins um, right have access to this um, why are we collecting this data right like in in our experience there are so many um, community-led responses over the years we've involved with um, with many organization, a lot of communities, and the experience has been, you know, um, accumulating. And there's a lot to learn from, and we often share those learning within the network and also with with other partners. So this is the efforts to kind of gather information and data about how community around the world responds to the project, right? Like based this on the projects that came through the early warning system. Um, but what are those responses? Um, we we need to kind of standardize this data a little bit, right? And um, as you can see, there are different types of actions. You can see community meeting, brainstorming, community protesting, uh, letter writing, a lot of different types. Um, I want to ask you all if you involved in any of the those responses, and I have listed 18 types of response here, if you can see on this slide, like action petitions, action protests. If you could write down in chat, you can write number or, you know, the name, the, just type the, the type of response in the chat, like that you have involved in that type of response. For example, if I was involved uh, helping community, um, advocate with Asian Development Bank, I would put number five, that advocacy towards banks. Um, so those are 18 types, but not, not everything that we have, but pretty much, you know, the major one. Just to warm up, look at this link, uh, do, look at these types, right? Um, and if you could put in chat any types of response you have involved in, um, preferably with early warning system, or if not, that's okay too. Just want to um, read the room a little better. See some questions here. Um, okay. Thank you, Keisha. The others, feel free to type in your answer. Just one is okay. <laughs> Example, I know you probably involved in many types of response. Um, for a development project like DAM, what can be the various harms that AWS may consider? To who do you complain in case where you don't know project sponsors? If a bank of project sponsor doesn't have an AWS, how do you get them to react? Um, it's a very interesting questions. Um, yeah, I think we will have time to, to respond to that and other can share as well. Well, thank you for flagging that. All right, different types of, of response. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'll move us to the next part. Um, as, as mentioned, uh, from the public side, you won't see it yet, right? Um, can we go to the next slide, please, Nadine? And so now, um, these, these response data can be quite sensitive, right? We are working in uh, shrunk civic space and defenders face a lot of um, threat and security risks. So we are mindful of that. So we have measures to protect the data that being input in the early warning system. And um, one of that is to first identify if this information 
meant to be public or not, right? But all information can go to respond tab because um, it's not going to show up in any project um, that project information that is publicly published. So that means it's not in the snapshot, right? You have to log in as admin and be able to see it. So, so that's one measure we did. Um, but any other uh, response document that can be published that would go to uh, documents tabs that show in the public snapshot. Um, I just want to emphasize that. Um, you may ask also who, who has access to those, who can see those, who can use those. And as I said, currently it's uh, the admin users only who can input the data, who can search the response data and kind of start to understand them. But um, we can all work together, right? If you have a certain, um, you know, questions. For example, someone asks me, how would you write a letter to World Bank, right? Like how would community do that? So we could go to the response tab and look at some example how other community have done or kind of see trends, uh, you know, different ways to write a letter or there are other um, activities, other response that, that other communities have used. So this is, as you can see, by, by gathering this, um, we start to, uh, expand our learning examples, and it can be powerful, right? Um, and we would always consult with those who own those data if we were going to use it beyond um, the early warning system. So that's that's important part. Um, next slide, please. So I want to show you how it's looked like. Um, so this is how we add those response, right? So let's say you there is an um, activity that community did or they write a letter or they did protest. This is how we track it. So you log into the early warning system database and you just put like five things, I think very simple, like when it happened, the dates that, that it happened, and then you would have to select which type is it, right? Is it um, an advocacy with bank, advocacy with government, is it a letters? Is it a strikes? Right. Just just choose those types. We we now have about forty types of responses. Just just for us to be able to compare the data, and write a very short description. Right. Um, it was a protest in front of the project office. You know, there were around five hundred people. Something like that. Very simple. Um, and who's involved? in that activities, right? Maybe there's some civil society who, who support the activity. Um, and so we just we just track those. And um, there is a link, you can put a link to any documents. Maybe there is something available on a website or if it's something internal, you can link like a Google Drive or Google Doc on um, this part. So complete these five um, entries and then you have it. So it will look something like the next slides. There. So under here, this is what it's looked like when you go in the database, right? Um, it will show you the types, the description, um, who was involved, and you can click on the link to, to learn more about that specific um, activities. And these are searchable. So if you go as admin, you can search, you know, how many projects, how many community have, you know, sent a letters to banks and it will pull up, the, you know, from this data. Um, yeah, so, so this is how it's looked like. Very, very simple, I, I think. Um, next, please. So the question is, um, how can you contribute to this response data, right? If you think it's helpful and useful, for an admin, you already have, when you log in, you could go to the project, you can go to the respond tab directly and add to that. And we have a step-by-step -step guidance notes that will guide you exactly how to enter those data. For um, those uh, you know who don't have admin privilege, uh, the website users, you can reach out to any of us that you know has an admin. Um, users or each project snapshot has those contribute information that will lead you to a form that you can fill in. Hey, I 
I have something about this project, right? Or I know something happened, community did this. So, and we can um, talk to you about it. So basically this is what we are working on to be able to gather um, the data about the responses that are done by community and civil society around the world.